And welcome back to Daily Wrap. Pope Francis is coming to America next week, but there is some controversy surrounding his visit. Not from the Vatican necessarily, but from the White House. According to the Wall Street Journal, the president is inviting a few controversial guests to reject Catherine, Catholic excuse me, doctrine to meet the pontiffs, specifically transgender activists Matteo Williamson and Vivian Taylor, the first openly gay uh, give me that word. Episcopal. Episcopal bishop, thank you. Bishop Jean Robinson and Sister Simone Campbell, an activist nun who leads a group criticized by the Vatican for its silence on abortion and euthanasia. Now, Pope Francis has been very tolerant and open-minded, but reports say the Vatican is not too pleased with the guest list. So, is the president showing disrespect to the Vatican by inviting so many people that disapprove of Catholicism, Emery? It won't be the first time because we know that he's had other events where he's excluded people. So therefore, uh, I, I think the Pope has a legitimate gripe, but at the same time, you know, it is the president. He's coming as a guest. But I don't think that I would slap a person in the face uh, that blatantly if I was president. Rick? I got to say, I see Emery's point on this. Um, you invite somebody to your home as a guest, you invite people that that guest is going to be comfortable with. Look, you know, I think that says enough. I'm not going to go any further on that. But I think should you have to show answer. deference to the to the Pope that you know? We're obviously, we're, it's it's he's not a world just some see it as a slap it's, in the face, is what I'm saying. It's not it's not just the Pope. It's anybody. You know. Well, he's it's, also uh, the leader of uh, a very very large religion in the world. He's a world leader. You should show some type of uh, you know reverence for the guy when he comes. I. I I th why do we have to have these kind of controversies? If you know that's going to cause a problem, uh, yeah. But I mean, I'll answer my own question because we have a, a president that's an activist, and he's wanting to throw this in the face uh, so that he can make it known that he ha doesn't have that stance. That's the thing, Emory. Should the president be politicizing this trip? Because he could have very easily just had a very generic guest list, but instead, this seems to have been done to create controversy. Well, I mean, it wasn't going to be ignored. And the publicity on this is going to cause probably civil disorder. It's going to cause people to protest. And it's, and it's opening up something that we really don't need. They're already concerned about security at this event. Mm -hmm. They're already concerned. Mm -hmm. So why in the world would you open this up? You're going to have all kinds of people out there now spreading all kinds of rumors, just like, you know, uh, some of the other issues that we've done. It's just not the thing to do. It's just not the thing to do. Right? Yeah, I, I, you know, I'd I love to support the president, but I'm not going to on this. Uh, if Joe, if I invited you over to my house for Which a you party, never do. well, that's because nobody likes you, and there'd be nobody <laughs> left for the party. But no, if there was a particular individual that you didn't have a good time being around, mm -hmm. I'm not going to invite that individual and spoil your night when I invite you as a guest. I, I got to agree. It's just. Look, you know, the Pope caused trouble because he didn't want to meet with certain dissidents uh, when he, when, as he goes to Cuba. Right. And, and that got some people riled up. But he made a statement. I want this to be calm. I want these to be not political. I get where he's going. Then let's, let's abide that, you know? They're not going to invite uh, uh, the Chinese, the, the is it Prime Minister or President of China, China yeah. and then have... Um, you know, somebody that is, supports um, the Dalai Lama, for instance, because right, right. Uh, that would cause conflict. It's just a conflict. That would right. be a complete political statement if you did. That's the same thing here. I played golf with the Dalai Lama. Big hitter. Dalai you got yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> The Pope is getting heat for his stance on global warming, Caddyshack reference, <laughs> pun intended, as well as making the process of getting an annulment easier and other issues Catholic uh, conservatives uh, have found a little too progressive. Is the Pope pushing the church too far to the left, Jonathan Gillian? Well, I'm not Catholic. Um, what are you? I, I grew up in a ba mostly Baptist, um, but I'm non-denominational. I, I believe in uh, the Bible, and, uh, and I guess, you know, like being a constitutionalist, I'm also a fundamentalist when it comes to Christianity. That's so, you know, I, I have my opinions on the way that this, uh, you know, the Pope is the leader of a, a, a large group of people who uh, follow the Christian faith, and I think that he needs to be um, mindful of that. And uh, this social engineering that's going on in the world right now, I think, is kind of ridiculous in the way of it's okay for social change. I'm all about that. But social engineering, I think, uh, just like it, whether it be the women going through ranger school, you need to take a step back and see if the population is comfortable moving as fast as you want to press it in there, because sometimes that can cause more problems. Ever, do you think it's the Pope's place to be talking about the weather, to be talking about sure. economic approaches? Uh, in other words, it's it's well beyond his jurisdiction in the eyes of some that he gets involved in these things. Now, it has 
given him a lot of media attention and obviously made him a very popular pope in some circles. Be but careful. You can't have it both ways. Think back what to mean? what you were all saying in the last right. conversation mm -hmm. we just had. Which was? Which was he's not a political guest. We What's were that? all saying that, you know, we shouldn't invite political people that trouble him to the White House because he's the leader of a world religion. Now, you right. can't suddenly turn him into a politician when it suits you. He either is or he isn't. Right. But I, I, what I'm trying to say is that she's giving opinions on things like global warming and capitalism. You know, personally, he can, you know, do whatever he wants, speak whatever he wants right. to. But one of the things he's got to realize is he represents a very large um, organization. And that organization has standards that they go by. He needs to stick to those unless the whole church is willing to say, we we'll take a vote on this and change it. Okay. We'll end it on that note. Up next, did the military alter ISIS reports? Stay tuned.